It's much easier to review movies and television. It's much harder to review motivational films or you could say propaganda, but that's what I want to do today uh, in taking a look at the uh, Coney 2012 video that has just blown up on the internet. And I spent 30 minutes yesterday watching it and it was some of the most compelling, engaging, and moving video I have seen in a long, long time. And I think it deserves mentioning, if for no other reason, then these are amazing filmmakers at Invisible Children. They put together 30 minutes of a video that was so compelling, it just felt like it flew by. You could learn a lot in making film from watching what they did in this video. Now, beyond this video is the motivation, the message, what they're trying to get across. And that's certainly worth talking about too. But I did want to start out by just saying, what a finely crafted piece of media this is, and if for no other reason, watch it because of that. It is beautiful and heart-wrenching, and uh, I can see why so many are moved, uh, and were moved yesterday to post about it and to get it online, and I think you'll see much more about these guys. Now, Invisible Children has been around a long time, and they've been doing amazing marketing and media stuff for a while. It's just kind of come to a head here. I think at the last count, the YouTube video had 50 million views as I'm recording this and uh, continuing to climb. I think 10 million views yesterday alone. And it's it's kind of not perplexing, just kind of dominating what they've been able to do. But what's behind it? This guy, Coney, Joseph Coney, and their stated goal of getting him to justice. That's what they want to do, and they make it very clear in the video. Now, since I've seen the video, I've also read several critiques of the video, and I think that's what I want to talk about with what I'm saying. I kind of want my thing to be a critique of the critiques, if you will, because I really feel like we're very quick to jump on something when it gets big. There's kind of this desire to cut something down when it becomes larger than life. And I get that. It's a very human thing. We want to bring things down to size. We want them to be have the perspective that they deserve and not to give in to something just because it's big and popular and people are doing it and tweeting about it and posting about it. And I very much get that. But I want to be careful in our ex exploration of the group Invisible Children and what they do against this leader, and uh, not, not really a leader, just this guy in Uganda, or who used to be in Uganda, I guess, uh, who uses children as soldiers and all sorts of awful things, just the atrocities that he does. Uh, in their effort to do this, uh, many people have uh, come against them and said things about, the, um, about their finances, about how they use the money at Invisible Children, and also specifically about how they encourage military action uh, in Uganda or how they supposedly do that. Now I say supposedly because to be honest I haven't done the on-the-ground research that needs to be done to figure out exactly who Invisible Children is and exactly what they do. But I think it's very easy for us to very quickly cut something down that maybe has as far as I can see this amazing intent and this amazing heart and I just want to be careful that we don't become such naysayers that we forget to recognize how powerful and how important it is to think about these things and process what they are putting in front of us. Because here's a guy, Joseph Coney, who until yesterday, I had no clue who he was. And yet today I am incensed and angered and on board with him and thinking this guy needs to come to justice. Now that is purposeful and that is real and I think that is valuable and I don't want to undermine that value just because you don't think the financials are transparent enough or you think that they encourage military action. Look, it's an organization and every organization is made up of people and people are flawed. They are fallible and uh, I just don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. It is one of those amazing times in my life where I watch something and I'm so impacted that I just have to tell others about it. That's what I came away from the Coney 2012 video thinking. And coming away from the critiques and the people who want to tear them down and do those kind of things, I say, okay, you might be right. I can't prove that you're wrong and I can't prove that Invisible Children is doing all the right things. But the truth of the matter is, I don't know that I have to to agree that something valuable is being done. And at the end of the day, 
I think something valuable is happening, something worth paying attention to, and I'm on board.